A couple of months ago when I first sort of started this channel, I did a video review on Mafia 2 Definitive Edition and now, well it's not a Definitive Edition, it's a flat remake remaster of Mafia 1 and it's available now. Now I'll come right out and say I've never played Mafia 1 before and this is my first experience with the title, so I have no pre-existing love for the series, so there's going to be no member berries here assisting or altering my thoughts. But is Mafia Definitive Edition a good game? Now just like The Godfather, The Irishman and The Untouchables, Mafia Definitive Edition starts just as slowly as these classic films. You play as Tommy Angelo, a cab driver who gets caught up in a shootout between two opposing Mafia families. From here you're given the choice to stay as a cab driver or to join the Mafia. All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. Though this isn't really a choice as you get jumped during your time as a cab driver and after you get revenge you're pulled straight into the Solari family. From here Tommy gets further and further involved in the family starting off as a simple wheelman and then even at one point acting as a damn race car driver. Just like you may expect, or you may know because you might have played this game before, but tensions rise and naturally there's a war between the Soleri and the Morello family. No, not that Morello. Now the gameplay of this remake is episodic missions rather than an open world. So instead of getting money for each mission and then free roaming as you might expect, you'll be moving around from mission to mission with Tommy evolving and aging between each mission. You'll start off as a cab driver before working as a wheelman for the Soleri family and then moving up the ranks to wearing a suit and blowing up offices. Thankfully the mission lineup is quite varied and the story and character development in Mafia is fantastic. When playing Mafia 2 Definitive Edition earlier this year, I didn't really care who lived or died, but Mafia 1? Shit, son. There's a mission where one of Tommy's friends Sammy gets shot pretty bad during a handoff and I actually cared whether he lived or died. Going back to gameplay, Mafia Definitive Edition is your basic pop and stop cover shooter just like countless other titles you've probably played, but from what I can tell and from what I've heard, it's better than the originals. Mafia works in a sub-open world where you'll drive to point A, where you'll speak to someone, kill someone, shake someone down, blow something up, you get the gist. From here the mission will either end or you move on to the next area, drive to that point and essentially rinse and repeat. There's two ways to drive in Mafia Definitive Edition with either the simulator mode, where the cars handle like wheelbarrows missing a wheel, or standard mode where it's a bit easier to pull off handbrake turns and to move around. Now just like my Mafia 2 review, there's a speed limiter so you don't draw attention to yourself. You see, driving too fast will cause nearby cops to take note, where the limiter will slow you down to the speed limit and it avoids unnecessary attention. Combat is again pretty straightforward. One button for melee attacks and another button to dodge. Aim and shoot is just like you'd expect, but the aiming reticule is pretty broad, sort of like what you'd expect from using a shotgun in a first person shooter. This makes it pretty hard to pull off precise shots with pistols, but it also helps you immerse you into the world of Mafia, because a pistol shot at long range is generally gonna do jack shit. You'll also have a health bar which is replenished by opening medicine cabinets scattered throughout levels. There's even some stealth based missions here which I thought might be a bit of a downfall and while they're nothing compared to say Splinter Cell or the Metal Gear series, these levels are serviceable. Now Tommy can carry a single sidearm, some throwables and one main weapon like a shotgun or the iconic Tommy gun. Anytime you're not using any weapon really, Tommy will place the weapon inside his jacket pocket. Now personally it would have been cool if they followed the Red Dead Road and had Tommy carry something like a Tommy gun until he either put it in his car or dropped it on the ground because well it's too big to put inside his jacket pocket but that's me. Graphically Mafia Definitive Edition is a fuckload better than the original one but to me it feels like a AAA game from a couple of years ago. Now the lighting and the world looks fantastic. Seeing the neon lights of the city reflecting in puddles is something I'll never get tired of. But the character models, while they look good, something seems off and I think it's their eyes. Now their eyes aren't as bad as something like Serious Sam 4, but the eyes sometimes look like they're missing emotion and eyelids. There's no shading in the eye sockets and it seems a bit weird. Now I'm not saying that the character models are bad, but they sometimes feel lifeless. I did also find some pop-in models here and there too. Nothing like how Kamala Khan didn't have hair in my Avengers video, but I'll be driving along somewhere and a car will randomly pop in out of nowhere. <laughs> Going back to character models, I also found that the enemy character models obviously aren't as polished as main characters, but when they take damage, it sort of just instantly appears on their body. Like when you do a finishing blow during melee combat, they'll just instantly have a blooded nose all over their face. There's no character damage 
progression, if, if that makes sense, or if it's a thing. Same thing when shooting enemies. The character models will take damage, well, after they're dead. You won't see bloodstains on their bodies as you're shooting them as they're alive. I also found in multiple instances, a headshot wasn't taking down an enemy. These aren't huge negatives or something that would take away my enjoyment from Mafia, but it did have me go, what the fuck? Now I've got a couple mates who played the original Mafia and heard about the dreaded race mission. Now for god knows what reason I was playing with the driving simulation turned on and this race is still a bit fucked. Having played my fair share of Formula 1 this year alone, Tommy would be fucking dead from my first crash. Though the mission wasn't too bad and I'm sure playing this on standard driving settings would make it a lot easier. Just like The Godfather, Scarface, The Irishman and basically any other Mafia or classic gangster film you can think of, Mafia Definitive Edition is a slow but fantastic burn. The story is fantastic to the point where I was treating my time with Mafia like a bingeable Netflix series. Just one more hour, just one more hour and then it was 3am and I was half a bottle of whiskey deep. There were some issues here and there but that doesn't get in the way of the story, the beautiful world and getting attached to the characters. And there is nothing cooler than seeing a bunch of trench coats pop out of a car with Tommy guns and start lighting up a restaurant. If like me you've not played Mafia at all before, well now's your chance to give it a try. But if you have played the original Mafia in 2002 when it released, I can't really comment if there's any new or missing missions, but if you enjoyed it in 2002, I can't see why you wouldn't go back to it now. Mafia Definitive Edition is available now as a standalone title or part of the Definitive Edition collection with Mafia 2, Definitive Edition, and Mafia 3. My next video will be Star Wars Squadrons and as a massive Star Wars nerd, living out my fantasies flying a Y-Wing in a somewhat realistic simulator dogfighting game is a dream come true. But until then, I'm going to be making Mrs. Duty watch The Godfather for the first time and playing more Mafia. Excellent. Now I'm starving. Luigi, let's eat. Eh, Salvatore, guess who's here? Mr. Cucunabanza and a submarine ugly kid. 